Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lexi and today I'm going to be doing an Alexa Demi inspired makeup look and this is the look that we're going to be recreating today. This is the outcome of it and I'm just so happy with everything, how it came out. I have been so inspired by Alexa Demi lately and I'm very excited to share this series with you all. I'm going to be doing a series of different looks that Alexa Demi has done that have really inspired and like lit a light in me lately. This is the first video of my series. I wanted to start off with something simple but very fun and I feel like this was the perfect one to start with so yeah let's just get into the makeup so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my Glossier Future Dew and this is like an oil serum I'm gonna use this as a primer for my makeup today it's a little hard for me to see right now so if you see me squinting or doing any of that it is because I obviously don't have my glasses on I haven't been able to get my contacts because of the quarantine so I have to sound like this <laughs> to my mirror in order to see anything so if you see me squinting that's why i've been on a really like light eyebrow vibe lately so i'm just taking my desi perkins bomb mask brow kit with benefit and this is the precisely my brow pencil i'm using this to just brush my brows out and the foolproof brow powder and this is in number three I don't really put too much product um, in the front of my brows. I kind of just get what's left on my brush or like the lighter shade and I run it through a little bit in like the center of my eyebrow but I try to not put too much in the front. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation and this is in the shade 300. It's going to be like the tiniest little pump that I can get and I'm going to use this as a concealer for my eyebrows. To conceal my eyebrows, I use a Morphe 432, it's just a flat head brush. So now that my concealer is on, I'm going to be using the Morphe E20 to blend it out. And then we're going to get started on skin. So that's all I do for my eyebrows now, and then we'll come back later to finish them up. I'm going to take my Fenty foundation again and put a little pump on my hand. And I'm going to be using this as the base for my eyeshadow. So as my base shade, I'm going to be taking Naked from the... Oh, my nails look horrible. For my base shade, I'm going to be taking Naked from the Daisy Marquez palette. And this is just a Morphe R37. It's just a regular fluffy brush. And I'm just going to kind of put it mostly in my crease because I feel like that's where obviously my eyes tend to crease. I'm not too worried about like my lower lid area. So Alexa's makeup is lavender and pink tones. I think it's more lavender on the center part of the lid and then like pink tones on the outer part. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Butterfly Effect palette and this is my favorite eyeshadow palette at the moment. I feel like it just has like every color that you could use for every day and then for also going out. So if you're looking for a new palette to buy, I definitely recommend this one. And I don't think these shadows have names. Oh yeah, they do. Okay, so I'm going to be taking Friendly, which is this lavender tone eyeshadow from the palette. And I'm going to start building that in my crease. I'm still using the same color, but now I'm using a Sigma Diffuse Creased E38 brush. And I'm going to kind of just tap it into my crease and then start blending. My nails look so bad. Quarantine has me out here looking a mess. I'm not too sure if they sell these shadows separately, but in case they do, the next one I'm picking up is KK, and I'm also going to mix it with uh, Friendly, which is the one that we were using before. And I'm going to focus this more on my outer crease. And I'm just taking a clean blending brush, and I'm going to go over it to kind of diffuse it a little more. This just is helping blend out the color a little bit more so that it's not just all stuck in one place. So the nails on my right hand look crazy because... I think obviously I'm right-handed so I use my right hands a lot more so all of my nails are pretty much coming off on this hand but on my left hand they're like perfectly fine um, they're just like outgrown a little bit I need to take some time sometime this week to take these off because they look like a wreck so now this is an M433 and I'm using KK again which is a darker lavender tone shade and I'm really gonna just pack that on to the outer part of my eyelid and I'm going to take the very tip holding my brush upward to try to pull that color in a little bit to the center and then diffuse it back out. 
doing your makeup in the rain is one of the most calming things I feel like you can do. So I hope you guys don't mind that I left my windows open uh, in the background of this tutorial. I just wanted to keep it very chill vibes. So I'm just really going in one last time to diffuse this color out. And you want most of your color to sit in this like outer crease area. And I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be using this brush. It's from a BH Cosmetics kit. I think it's like the rose gold and white kit. And it is the brush number 9. But if you don't have it, this is just how the brush looks. And I'm going to take some concealer and put it on this brush. I'm using the Cover FX Power Play in medium 2. So for my cut crease, I have to get like closer to my actual mirror. So once I cut this, I will be right back. Okay, so this is what my cut crease is at right now. I did do my whole eye and I did it a little bit above what my regular crease is. On her actual lid is a very light lavender. So I'm going to just be using the same exact lavender tone that I used in the beginning. So you want to deposit most of your color on the like outer part of your cut crease. So where all of your edges are. And... I think I'm done. So I'm going to take a Morphe 562 and it's just a really tiny defining crease brush. And I'm picking up more of the dark lavender toned eyeshadow and I'm going to deposit that right above my cut crease. So the next thing I'm going to do is my wings liner. This is the NYX Epic Eyeliner in black and I'm going to just take this and do a very small simple wing. I normally start my wing in the center and pull out from there and then the inner part is the last thing I do. So this is how my eye makeup is looking right now. It's a very simple wing and yeah, I'm going to do my other eye and then come right back. Okay, so now that my face is covered in blush, um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a highlight. Nothing crazy because, again, her face is pretty much matte. I'm going to take the Smashbox Primer Water again. And for my highlight, I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight. And mine is crazy. I'm going to be using this with just one of my fingers. So here... Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put any blush on my nose. So I'm going to actually do that next. Um, and then I'm taking the regular Beauty Blender and just dabbing that into my skin. And the beauty blender is wet too, by the way, just so you don't try to do this with the dry beauty blender. It'll take off all of your product. So whatever is left on the beauty blender, just go over your nose area. And if you want, you can go over the rest of your face. It's not going to give you like a crazy highlighted look, but it'll give you like a hydrated look. We're going to go back in again with the blush. And I'm going to go on my nose a little bit. Just going over my highlight a little bit with the blush too to kind of tone down uh, the pigmentation of that. So my face is pretty much done at this point. I'm going to go back to my brows now from the Desi Bomb Ass Brow Kit. I'm going to be using the 24 hour brow setter and this is just um, like a clear brow job. I personally like to have more of like a fluffy natural eyebrow look. And then just be sure to wipe any eyebrow gel that you might have gotten on your face. So now I'm just going to be using an eyelash curler and my Man Eater mascara from Tarte. And I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then we're going to put some false lashes on top. I'm weird. I do one eye at a time. When I do this, I think it's like a psychopath thing. Like when people put on like one sock and then their shoe at the same time, and then the other like foot doesn't have anything on it yet. That's how I feel like I look when I do it this way. <laughs> now I'm going to be using, I want to say that these lashes are um, Gigi from Coco Lashes. I'm like missing an eyelash in here, but I'm gonna be using these ones right here, and I'm pretty sure that they're Gigi from Coco Lashes. So I'm gonna put these on, come back, and then we'll finish the look. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take, again, this palette and I'm going to be using the darker lavender tone in here. Um, I'm going to use this brush from e.l.f. It's number 205. I'm just kind of running it really softly under my eyes. I'm actually going to put a tiny bit more highlighter on. So I'm going to use, again, my Smashbox primer. And I'm going to take 
the Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt and I'm going to be using the Girl Next Door and then a little bit on my nose. I didn't pick up any extra product, it was just whatever was left. Now I'm going to be going in with my Man Eater Mascara again and I'm going to be doing my under eye shadow or my under eye mascara. This is my favorite mascara for my bottom lashes because I feel like it gets like every single one. And my mascara is done. So I'm going to take a little bit of the LA Girl eyeshadow primer and I'm going to actually use this in my waterline. I should have done this before I did mascara but I didn't think about it until now. And then I'm going to just go over my mascara a little bit more. So the last thing that we're going to be doing is lips and I am going to be using the NYX Cosmetics lingerie push-up and this is in the shade S06 so this is how it looks this is my favorite lip liner at the moment I noticed that when I'm using this it kind of feels like minty on my lips and then to top it off I'm going to be using the NYX butter gloss and I believe this is in praline oh no this is in bit of honey so I am fully done with the Alexa Demi uh, makeup look and I think I'm going to add my own little something. You do not have to do this but this is her final look and I'm going to add a little bit of A Whole New World. This is the Colourpop and like Disney collaboration and I'm just going to put a little bit of it in my inner corner. So then the last thing I'm going to be using is my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just to seal everything. And that is pretty much it. So I have completed the whole look. I added a little bit more than what um, Alexa had. Hers was a little bit more matte, but I could not go through this video without adding some sort of glitter or something. So that's it for today's makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was pretty simple to start this series off with. I love how it came out. It's so like springtime and girly and just fun. I love doing purple eyeshadows, so this was so fun to start off with. And like I said in the beginning of this video, this is an actual series that I'm starting on my channel of Alexa Demi makeup. I've just been so inspired by her lately and her energy, her vibe, and obviously her creative skills are just like everything to me right now. So if there are any looks that you know of that you really like and you want to learn how to do, please send them my way. I'll have my Instagram link down below and then you can just DM them to me. But I do have like seven or eight saved so far that I'm so excited to share with you guys. And yeah, until I see you next time, please be kind to those around you and I'll see you soon.